Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Yeah, and I hope you are doing oh so well. And welcome to another Chelsea News video to help you get through this international break as we move ever closer back to Premier League football. In today's video, as per usual, we're going to be talking about three different stories. One of said stories is going to be about Callum hudson Adore and his quite frankly poor performance for England against Kosovo and how people may be overreacting to what is poor form and indeed probably low confidence. I'll also be tipping my cap to the other three Chelsea players who played for England, obviously Tammy Abraham and Fakayo Tomori making their debuts this international break. I'll be talking about how Willian could complete a very senior front three indeed for Valverde's Barcelona in Willian, Suarez and Messi potentially benching both Griezmann and Ousmane Dembele. Which is weird, right? And I want to highlight some quotes that Eden Hazard said about Frank Lampard and Chelsea, which gives you the warm fuzzies. Before we get into the stories today, I want to remind you to subscribe to Football Therapy. Make sure you do hit the bell notifications icon to keep it locked. And also, a reminder to you guys to subscribe to Yan Plays, my FIFA gaming channel. Uh, links in the description at the top. Make sure you do subscribe. It's loads of fun join the journey. Right then, let's get into it and let's start with Callum Hudson-Odoi. He hasn't been brilliant of late for Chelsea. Again, it's probably been a confidence thing and you could maybe attribute that to Christian Pulisic playing so, so well and maybe putting the pressure on him. He's the youngest player in Gareth Southgate's England squad. So that's a pretty high accolade as it is to show how good he is as a player. Obviously, he's already come on and played before for England senior team, but he got his first start against Kosovo. And he was pretty poor. It's a shame. I don't want to say it's not surprising, but he hasn't been in great form, like I said, and he kind of continued that, and he got the hook, I think, before the hour mark. And as per usual custom, people are overreacting. <laughs> this kid is a teenager who's been playing amazing football throughout his whole entire life, or pretty much ever since he could kick a football. We've seen him do amazing things. Remember when he got into Sari's starting 11 at the end of last season? Sari, who was a coach who has absolutely no inclinations at all to play youngsters, had to play this kid who had undeniable quality and he was in his starting 11 towards the end of last season or certainly until he got injured. He absolutely tore up the Europa League when he was playing in it, getting goals, assists, combining. Remember even that first leg against Ajax when he was playing away in Amsterdam, he was the most dangerous player on the pitch when he was dribbling into the opposition box. They didn't know what to do with him. Hudson Adoy can dribble with both feet, he can use both feet, he can play on both wings, he can take a man on, he can do excellent finishes. This kid is incredibly talented and he's mature on the ball when in form. He knows when to chip a pass over, he can get a bunch of assists, he can see the pass happening. So he's actually an incredibly talented footballer and it's funny how people forget that when his confidence is low and he's playing badly. Remember, he's a kid, man. There's a reason why Chelsea Football Club have given him a massive contract and did everything they could to keep him at the club. Sure, people on Twitter think they know everything and they want to get angry at a player, but there's people that get paid a lot of money at Chelsea Football Club to identify and know when they see a player. And trust me, go and watch the highlights of Callum hudson Doy's ability throughout the recent years and you'll be like, wow, what a baller. Short memories, right? Anyway, the kid will get his form back and it's just worth talking about how, yes, it was a poor performance against Kosovo, but the kid will rise again from the ashes and silence the haters, I am sure. In the same game though, Mason Mount got his first senior goal for England. Superb. It was a, a bit of a scrappy goal from a Kosovo mistake. Kane gets his head up, plays him in, and it's a lovely little finish by Mason Mount. We know he's good at scoring. He can score from far out. He can score from, you know, inside the box. He can curl it. He can whip it. What an excellent player Mason Mount is, and it's superb for his confidence getting a goal. Want to tip my hat to Tamori as well for getting his first cap. He came on. Um, very important moment for him and his confidence going back into the domestic season. Obviously, Tammy Abraham getting his goal the game before. So generally, apart from a poor performance from hudson Adoy good scenes from uh, Chelsea players. Before we move on to the Willian story and how the Barcelona links and Valverde links are heating up, let's talk a little bit about Eden Hazard. Away on international duty, he was asked about Chelsea in an English interview and he had some glowing things to say about Frank Lampard and the Blues. When he was asked if he's surprised that Frank Lampard's doing well, Eden Hazard said, No, I'm not surprised. 
I know Frank is a player, not as a manager, but he is a great guy. He has shown already in four months that he can be one of the best managers in the world. The good thing is they're playing young English players. They're lucky to have young players with quality. Maybe with two or three more, they would be first in the Premier League. When I saw them play, it was nice to see them all play together. I still have friends there and I want them to do well. That was really, really nice to hear. That's just more testament to that. Eden Hazard left in a positive way from Chelsea. Sure, he wanted to go to Real Madrid for a while and generally he tried to make no secret of it because he wanted to find a way to get his move, but he does love the club in West London and obviously he's got a bunch of friends still at Stamford Bridge. Many other players that go and move to these, you know, Euro giants, they won't comment on previous clubs or they'll be like, yeah, it's great, whatever, but I'm thinking of Real Madrid now. It was nice for him to take some time talk about how well Chelsea are playing at the moment and how he thinks they're not far away from being at the top of the Premier League and generally he wishes the club and all his friends at the club the very best so that's nice to hear and hopefully one day Eden Hazard returns to the club just to watch a game and gets brought out at half time and gets a superb reception you know what if Eden Hazard returns with Real Madrid and even if they beat Chelsea he will always get a superb reception at Stamford Bridge. Also, I just kind of want to mention about how he's talking so positively about the project at Chelsea at the moment with such glowing terms. This is kind of something that's going on across the board in the media and football fandom. Everyone is kind of in danger of liking Chelsea at the moment, which is rare, right? Chelsea were actually quite a liked team in the 90s, but obviously ever since the Roman Abramovich buyout of all the money and the sort of mercenaries and all that other stuff, people dislike Chelsea. People dislike success. And even though Chelsea is successful at the moment, they're doing it in such a model that you can't help but like. They're bringing through the kids, they're playing with a togetherness. They've got a coach in Frank Lampard who doesn't try and get into opposition minds. He speaks well, he's charismatic, he's funny and obviously he himself is a footballing great and with all that they're playing exciting attacking football so it's nice that finally everyone's talking about Chelsea uh, in such a positive way it's new really and I don't know how to deal with it anyway let's move on to the final story of today's video if you go through Chelsea news day by day like I do to sort of consolidate the information to present to you guys here on football therapy you will know that the Willian to Barcelona links are not going away. They talk about how just around 18 months ago there was a 55 million pound bid for the Brazilian that Chelsea turned down and now they might get the 31 year old for free. Which is kind of fair enough, context is required throughout that whole narrative. Chelsea did rate Willian very highly and it does look like he's been a very important player this season for Chelsea even if it is best for all parties if he does leave in the summer. Apparently Valverde does really want Willian still. And this is kind of interesting because they've made some strange purchases, uh, Barcelona and they does look like they want the front three of Messi, Suarez and Willian. This is a really interesting one because obviously they bought Usman Dembele who is an incredibly talented player. They probably overpaid for him a little bit because he had that one explosive season at Dortmund where he got loads of assists um, and then they bought him and he didn't really quite happen for him. I think he scored his first goal for Barcelona against Chelsea in the Champions League which was an absolute banger to be fair. But he had some attitude problems, maybe some disciplinary problems or something like that. He played a lot of Fortnite I think maybe. Meza Ozil. <laughs> so for all the talent he has I think he might have had trouble fitting in. But enter Antoine Griezmann, a player that was making kissy faces to Barcelona for so so long. He finally got his move. He's He's now a Catalan player but apparently that's actually quite a controversial situation like I'm hearing people who support Barcelona saying the they won't pass the ball to him. It's literally like playground stuff. Like he's not fitting in and he's got no chemistry with the on-field players and they're not really playing him in a lot and Messi is not necessarily overly happy with Griezmann. And apparently Messi just runs the show over in Barcelona. So the Camp Nou is calling for Willian. And I mean, although Willian's a very talented player, he'd probably do very well combining with those forward players. It would be a very <laughs> OAP front three of Messi, Suarez and Willian all in their 30s and it's almost like they're fully just going with experience to maybe see out a season or two. Very peculiar if you ask me but maybe they can get away with it in La Liga in terms of the dominance they have as a club. Like previously stated before in news videos I think Willian probably would want this move. I think they want the move obviously they'd get him on a free and it would probably be a good deal all round. Willian might get say a three year contract as opposed to a 12 month contract they'd get at Chelsea. They'd probably give him decent money 
and he gets to play for Barcelona in his swan song. Chelsea coach Frank Lampard won't like this. He'll definitely want him for at least another 12 months, maybe two years. I'm sure Frank, being a player who played into his 30s, he'd be happy to give that to Willian. Chelsea fans would probably be okay with it. They'd be happy with the form he's providing them this season. But then, you know, he's going to be 32 and maybe it's time to buy a sort of top tier winger with the Hazard money. And let's be honest, Pedro's probably on his way out too. So it's kind of a nice situation. Happy if you stay for a year. Fine if you go, mate. Thanks for your service, Willian. Anyway, what do you guys think? Get down in the comments below. Would you be okay with Willian leaving? Do you think both Willian and Pedro are going to leave? Do you think Chelsea are going to sign a winger? What do you think about Callum hudson Adoy's poor form recently? Do you think it's just a temporary dip and the kid's really a superstar? Get down in the comments and let me know your thoughts and opinions on today's news stories. Remember to subscribe to my gaming channel, Yan Plays. It's pretty hilarious. We're having loads of fun over there. Link in the description. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Twitter and Instagram. And if you'd like to, you can join the Football Therapy Discord server via the patreon link also in description that's it for me ladies and gentlemen you lot enjoy the football and i will see you later way so tough with that bad boy tuck i'ma get it how i'm living i'ma walk the walk outline my lines i rap through thought body bag the verse outline the chuck in my life seen trouble hustle on the double silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle yo chick like to guzzle bad boy stay in trouble i only love this paper sorry i don't I let me back